Okay, thank you for coming to this video 6.1 times table. Apparently last term when I was making my videos for IT140, I forgot to do this. So someone pointed that out to me today. And I'm gonna do this uh, real quick video to show how to do this 6.1 times table. So what they're doing is uh, they'll provide us with a number in and then output the times table for that number from 1 to 12. So if we pass in 6, you should output 6, 12, 18, 24, etc., etc. So, um, to solve this challenge, we are going to use a for loop. And what we're going to do is go through the range of numbers 1 to 12. So to do this, we're going to say 4, I. Now I stands for iteration. It is the most common uh, variable used for iteration. So you'll see I uh, many times when you're looking at loops, but it is not necessary. So you could put any any uh, variable letter there. You could put VAR, you could put X, Y, Z, whatever. It doesn't matter, but as you're doing Python, you'll notice that everybody tends to use the letter I, lowercase i, for the definition of iteration. So that's what I'm going to use. And so we're going to say for I in range. And then we're putting our parentheses here because we're calling this range. And what they're asking us to do is create the uh, table for the numbers 1 to 12. So you know when you're calling this range, the first number you put in there is a starting point. So they have a starting there at 1. The second number they have us put in there is 12. But in order for us to get to 12, we have to put in the number 13. Because remember, the last number here is going to fall short of 13. So if you put 13 there, it's going to go to 12. So that's how you're getting your 1 to 12. You're doing 1 to 13 because it stops just short of 13. So we're going to say for i in range of 1 to 13, print. For a print statement. And now we're going to use the variable in because that's the number they're giving us here, the variable in. So they're providing us with this variable. So we're gonna print the number in and then times i, which is our iteration. And let me just put my uh, colon up there so that'll run and let's check this. Okay, and so as you can see, it's inputting the number six and then it's iterating from 1 to 12 and then printing each time. So 6, 12, 18, so on, so on. So that's how you solve this. And uh, for those of you who have not subscribed, please do subscribe. And